So step five is to collect key documents. Now, your typical employee is going to have a desk or workstation or an office, and they're going to have information that might be critical to the fraud case, things like bank statements, cancel checks, invoices, contracts, receipts. They're probably also going to have information that's critical to just your day-to-day -day function. So what we want you to do is to take a, a good inventory of the information and the documents on this person's desk, where you collected them from, and if anything is key, bank statements uh, for, for example, we want you to collect those in one place so that those are easily accessible by the folks who are going to help you investigate what happened.